Hey guys, this is Dave with Dave's TR4A. I'm going to take a quick break from making my travel videos to talk a little bit about the final product of my solid state voltage stabilizer to replace your defective one in your Triumph or MG. What I'm holding here is the negative ground model. It's, as you can see, it's in the same case as the original electromechanical device. It's got the male terminals for the battery and Put and female terminals to connect to your instruments. I've spent about a year in product development and refinement on this product to uh, to make it as painless of a install as possible. Now the only Achilles heel of this is that I do need the metal cases that the original units came in. So basically there's two circuit boards in the device. There's this outer one here that has the terminals on it and then there's an inner one that contains a voltage regulator which is actually mechanically and thermally connected to the case which is ground so it's a pretty solid design okay in that development process there was also extensive field testing of the unit uh, not just in my car but but also uh, other people that have similar cars actually the terminal situation developed out of one of those those comments where they wanted to see the male terminals for the, the battery input and female terminals for the instrument input. So, yeah, it was it was well worth the effort to spend some time to get feedback from people before I just started chunking these things out. So, now the, the question, I guess, is how do I, if you want to get one, how do you do that? I've decided not to sell them direct, going through three distributors at the moment. Uh, the first being Team Triumph up in Warren, Ohio. You have to call Scott Harper up there and he can help you out. Also, the Roaster Factory. They're, they're selling them also. And finally, just recently, Triumph Spares. In fact, that's who, where these ones are going. So anyway, as I said, it's, it's, it's not the cheapest one you can buy. But it's the only one you have to buy because it's just very reliable. So I wanted to talk a little bit about <clears throat> the testing of the units during the process. So I want to make sure that you guys all understand that these aren't just thrown together and put in a box. So the, the, there's an initial test once the printed circuit board is done for the regulator and to make sure that, that things assembled correctly. Once that's done, then they're mounted in the case. The terminal board is soldered to the regulator board and that's crimped into the can and then they're tested again. So once that's done, then I, I want to run them under a, a load for a burn-in process. So basically that's what you see here is I have four units on burn-in and what I did is uh, there's uh, load simulations here that are basically twice the normal load on the part. These are half amp loads for the uh, for each, each device, a separate load. So they run like this for 24 hours and then taken off the, the test fixture. And then I test them one more time before I, I put them in the anesthetic bags. And then they're, they have a sheet that goes with it. It's assembly instructions and it also has a serial number and what the test voltage was under load. Anyway, that's it. And um, I just wanted to, uh, again, make everybody aware that these are available. We'll get back to the travel videos here shortly. That's it for now. Please like and subscribe.